TV 10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 15th of December, 2020. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature a burned and abandoned vehicle, investigation into stolen property, and an attempt to apprehend a wanted fugitive. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. It certainly looks like a burned vehicle. Yeah. I'm hoping it had a trailer bed on it or what? Big real quick. Got some paraphernalia over here. No body or anything. It was weird to me that this whole thing would burn up and that hat would only be slightly burnt. I imagine it probably got tossed there after or as it was going down. Because mm -hmm. it still has trail marks and stuff on it. I'm going to 
Hey, can you get the fire marker number put in the cab for me? Oh, there we go. Also, run me a 28, uh, not sure of the state. 6K Kilo J Juliet 667. 6KJ 667. Once you check West Virginia, if it doesn't come back, check surrounding. You got Tag comes back, but it's like six years expired, so we got an address. So, if we can find 27 and have current history there, we'll go out and make contact with them. You don't know who to believe because there's a lot of people that walk up and down the tracks and they could, oh, somebody dumped them and set it on fire. Mm -hmm. Grab my phone real quick and try to call the fire marshal. See if he wants to do anything with it. All right. No, not at all. No, they called uh, the gentleman that actually made the complaint. Called the firefighter friend. Firefighter friend said, "Call us." Uh huh. Okay, what's what's that number?
Okay. And are you familiar with the Coco Loco Club all the way down Pilgrim Street? Yeah, all the way back Pilgrim Street. Correct. It's the old Coco Loco Club. Alrighty, sir. Bye. So I spoke with the fire marshal. He wants me to call it into his hotline. So it generates a report for him, kind of like our CAD system is. But he actually will physically respond here within 10 minutes to make a decision on what he wants to do with it. like they turned it into like a, a pack nest. I mean, there's a old mattress in the back, a couple chairs, a bench. The that registered to uh, a gentleman off the Allenville Road, but the registration is inside on the pocket. Yeah, it's inside on the pocket. Okay. Yeah, it's inside on the pocket. about doing any drifting overseas? I would like to. That'd be great. I'm supposed to go to Europe in another year or two. Kidnapped by pirates? Okay. No, well, I don't think he was kidnapped, but he was here. Okay. So you ran a plate this all in your cab? Yeah. You know, I want to get a copy of that stuff. So this place, you know, has been shut down for a really long time. Well, since that shooting, right? Mm -hmm. 
So I'm thinking squatter came back here. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. I can have uh, my dispatch track to go. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. He said he saw it three days ago, but with the schedule of the recycling center, there's no telling. So who saw it three days ago? Um, I'm, his name's in bed. Okay. And he saw it as it was burned or just? Yeah, it was, as it was burned. Three, he said it was completely burned Three out. days ago? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll document it and make sure we have nothing in there. Somebody threw some shit afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, like the head. There's a yeah, some pipe back there. Yeah, I'll document it. And uh, did they call it in to our office? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, good. I'll get the. I'll get my case number. And uh, oh, I have for you if you need it. Huh? I have for you if you need it. What what number did they give you? Twenty twenty one dash three two four. I'll just GPS this place. This has no. Did you get? Did they give me an address on this, or was it? One thirty three Berkeley. Hey, what's the numerics for Coca Loco? Sorry, they're double checking. Yeah, no Met your new boss yesterday at uh, Summit Point. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Six zero two Pilgrim Street, Chapel Road. All right. Um, I you don't have to hang around. I'll document it. I can drop my report off. Temple. Okay. And they're gonna let me know as soon as they pack it, so I can give you a shout and let okay. you know it's on the way. Okay. Yeah. No problem on that. Like I said, I'm gonna document. Just look and see if I can see anything. Uh, in the last registered owners, both their names are in CAD as well. Yeah. So. Okay. And I'll see who they sold it to, and uh, I'll follow up with them too. And uh, who knows what it is? It burned. Yeah, it burned. It burned good. I'm surprised. Well, back here, burned 10, 11 o'clock at night. Shit, who's going to see it unless you're back here? You know what I mean? Well, I'm surprised nobody from Keaton called because they're literally right there. We had good rain too, what was it yesterday, so it wasn't the day before, so and this is this is cold and like I said, some people come by and looked at this afterwards and threw some shit on here, so yeah. yeah and I mean you get people up and down these tracks all day, so Yeah, exactly. All right, let me get busy. All right, you stay safe. Yes sir, you as well. Take care. All right, later.
not gonna hit you. So, uh, you don't mind, I have a video camera with me. Okay. What's going on? Um, back in August, I had my grandson evicted. How old is he? 30. Okay. He moved up to Uncle Steel with his mother. In the process of all this, he done stole 99% of everything, all right? Now are we talking about electronics, jewelry? Anything. Anything that him and his mother can get their sticky fingers on. Mm -hmm. Well, in my garage, I had, um, I had two snow shovels. Okay. And I had a snow joke, okay? A snow what? It's called a snow joke. It's oh. an electric snow blower. Okay. I saw them here last week. Mm -hmm. Today they're gone. Okay. Do they still currently have access to the residence? Not supposed to. But they've been getting here somehow. But I always kept Joe sitting up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now today I have to move things around to be able to get the vehicle. Joe is not there. Over here in this container, I always kept all my shovels and stuff. Okay. As you can see, there's no snow shovels. I know damn well they got them. They got so much of my stuff that is fun, real. Now for the, what'd you call it, a snow joe? Uh-huh. Do you know the serial number on that by chance or uh, have a receipt for it? I probably do. Because if they pawned it, I can relocate it at a pawn shop if that's what they did. Can I close this? Yeah, that's fine. Believe me. You don't have any dogs that's gonna bite you, do you? <laughs> I, that truck standing at the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> she will you. lick you to death, not bite you. But I'll put her in the bedroom too. Oh, she's fine. Come here, so, so, so here. Okay, in there. Stay. Don't come out. Oh, shoot. I've taken all my paperwork and stuff to my friend's house because they've been stealing out of here. Okay. Um, I am sorry. You're fine. Yeah. What I can do is get an initial statement from you, and I'm on day shift until the rest of the month. I can leave you my business card. Whenever you get that paperwork, just give me a shot to the office, and then I can come back and pick it up. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Because, I mean, I, I take in the rest of my jewelry that they didn't steal. Mm -hmm. I locked it up in my Mercedes, okay? <laughs> I know that y'all think I'm a nut. I'm not at all. Th these two done stole lightning from me. Are your actual actual keys still in the lockbox? Yeah. Do they know the password to it? They shouldn't. That just went on a week ago. Okay. They should. I don't even know the password to it, so I don't. Do know. they know the password to your garage? I changed. I had a let uh, a key guy come out and rekey everything. Mm -hmm. We changed the code on the garage. I don't know how they're getting in here, mm -hmm. but they are. I have a little renter downstairs, and he doesn't see or hear anything, mm -hmm. but they're smart. They are smarter than hell. Well, if there's no forced entry, they gotta have a key or something. Or That's what I'm saying. They gotta have a way. And I don't know what. Now, I I was getting ready to do this before y'all came. came. Uh, I had an open house here on Sunday. Well, I know she wasn't in town. So, yeah, come on in. You don't mind walking on carpet? Not at all. Come on in. Um, I know she was not in town on Sunday, okay? So, we had an open house here. But then, yesterday, I was out of town. I was out of town Sunday and Monday. Came back. When did we get back? This morning. <laughs> Couldn't remember what I was doing. Um, and the roast that lady said that a couple wanted to see the house yesterday. Mm -hmm. And she wanted that, her to meet them here in 15 minutes. Well, I'm thinking, this might be just, the real estate lady don't know her. And I'm thinking this might have been her. Secure remain that way. So, I don't know, but I'm going to call my real estate later, later on and ask her what she looked like. Do you think she'd still have her phone number? Whose phone number? The person that called. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, because if she has her phone number, I can check history on it and see if it comes back to your daughter or your son. She wouldn't use those. She would not use them. You'd be surprised. Criminals don't make the smartest decisions sometimes. These two was criminals, believe mm -hmm. me. I mean, bad criminals. I had... I, my basement is fully finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got a kitchen and everything there. And I had it completely furnished. Do you know when they left, they stole everything. Mm -hmm. They pulled trees up out of my yard. 
they pull plants up out of my yard. I have had the police out here buku times, and you know every time they tell me nothing I can do. Well, the hard part if they were residents here. He was, mm -hmm. she was, but he was. Yeah. Now, the reason I know that that she did it. I was outside working in the garage, and they went down the street four or five times. Mm -hmm. They, and she's just wondering if I missed a snow job. Mm -hmm. Of course I did. I went up there to get it today to bring it in the house. Mm -hmm. When they first left, they put lye in my hot tub. I thought I was going to die. Mm -hmm. I went to the doctor. I don't know. Must have been five or ten times trying to heal it up. Okay. Do you know a current value on everything that was missing recently? Well. <laughs> I would say that it's about $400 because I bought Snow Joe from QVC. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm pretty sure that was like $359. Mm -hmm. you know, and then, of course, he, I had two or three snow shovels and I wanted to now. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'll do is if you can grab your ID for me, I'm going to run out to my car real quick, grab your statement form, I'll have you fill it out. Mm -hmm. And if you can list the items and an approximate value for me. Mm -hmm. All right. That's fine. All right, I'll be right back. All right, let me get my purse yep. out of here so that. And I know that they were here because they were stuck hanging on my nose. <laughs> Don't y'all want to buy a house? Temple. It is very, very beautiful, but I'm not allowed to leave uh, Jefferson County, so. Oh! You, you lose your vehicle if you do? No, I live in Jefferson. Can I get this damn thing out of here? Oh, cops never stop me in an emergency here. <laughs> I do have one, though. You want me to give it a try? Yeah, all right, what this is, a basic statement form, all the information up top is gonna be yours. Make sure I have a good contact number for you and essentially write down the time and dates that they were here, the time dates you saw everything missing, the make, model, and the proximate value. I mean, I know nothing will come of this. I mean, because y'all's hands are tied and this girl is smart enough to know that, you know what? One third. But no, if they're stealing something like that, nine times out of ten, what they're going to do is pawn it. And they, they don't stole so much. They stole two tables and chairs. I mean, they emptied my downstairs. Mm -hmm. All because, because see, well, then you can find out the price of this house, but it's almost $400,000 home. He cut the carpet up downstairs. Mm -hmm. He cut, he had two by fours and had put them on the dining room wall. You know. And I'm going, are you crazy? I said, you can't do that. Every time I would tell him he couldn't do something, him and his mother would go right here and do it in the damn way. So it's making you sell this beautiful home. Them? Honest to God, them. I've only been here, it won't be a year, I've only been here 18 months. 18 months. But that's the reason that I'm selling. Have you ever thought about getting security cameras? Honey, I got the ring and, you know, and all that. Nothing works with these two. These two are masters. And I'm not lying. I'd invest in a blink system because you get an actual alert whenever your cameras are activated. 
I, well, like I said, I got the ring, but I've taken it off the door when I put the house on the market for sale. But I had uh, a for sale buy on a sign out there in the yard. She ripped it down, threw it in the yard. Now, I had it up there with those zip ties. Mm -hmm. They had to cut it to get it off. You know that, because those zip ties are tight. Mm -hmm. Do you think for one minute they care about me? But she knows I get in my hot tub every day uh, between the hours of three and five. Mm. You can count that they're here. You can count that they are roaming out there. Have you ever tried trespassing them? I went to the court. Now, this is the honest to God's truth. You're not going to believe this, but this is the truth. I evicted him. I cured him to court. All right. His mother and his stepfather came with him to court. Okay. I was I had given a judge pictures and everything of what was going on downstairs and stuff. And he asked her and she stood up and she said, Well he gave she gave it to him. The judge looks at me and he said, Well you can wait until he's completely out, bring back a list of what they've taken, and we will count we will try to investigate it, but you gotta have receipts of everything, mm -hmm. okay? Which I understand. You gotta have receipts of everything. And on top of that, he said, it's their three words against yours. And he said, I hope that tells you something. I definitely do a trespassing order. You come down to our office, pick up the paperwork, fill it out. You'll get a copy of it, we'll get a copy of it. They'll get served a copy of it. If they step foot on this premises and we are called and they're still here, they get arrested. But what if I call you and, you and they're not still here? Then they get a warrant. And then they get arrested at a later date. Because believe me, they are, like I said, and that's the reason I'm selling my house. I am absolutely selling my house due to them. I wouldn't let them push me out of my own house. What's the date's date? 12? It is. Oops, give me one 15. second. Yep, 12 15. Wow. The worst part about it is that she's been around police from day one. Mm -hmm. You know, her stepdad was chief of police, mm -hmm. and her she had two brothers the same way, was cops, and one was chief of police here in West Virginia. And so she knows mm -hmm. they know the goods, and you know, and what they can get away with and what they can't. One thirty-three birth. Can you locate those two? 27 by name date of birth. birth. What's her full name? Get. Yeah. Brian. I guess this is all I thought. I didn't see them do it, but. So I had to put what they were met, what was missing, right? Correct. And then uh, approximate value if you had it. And I've still never heard of the Snow Joe thing. How does it work? It's it's an electric thing, mm -hmm. um, and it's about yay you know wide, mm -hmm. and it's just like a regular snowboard. Okay. It's just electric and not gas, and I hook it to a big drop cord. Okay. And, and it does its thing, it, it, and it only weighs like 10 pounds, 10, 14 pounds. And mm. it's great for driveway and sidewalk. Okay. Yeah, they're on, I, I got mine from QVC. How long have you had it? Uh, three years. Oh, I don't know if QVC would still have a record of it. I don't know either, but I know in my, my box of stuff that I've taken out of here, I know that I still have the paperwork from that. Okay. Oh, sign date bottom left for me. Oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I thought you were signed, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just writing my total here. Um, okay. I like this ink pen. If it would pay my bills and then disappear, it would be good. 
You know, that's my favorite type of pen. It's really good for writing tickets. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. I'm, I'm never getting a ticket. Never. never getting a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'll do from here, um, I can check all the local pawn shops because nine times out of ten, that's what they do. Um, I will have to show proof of ownership to return it. So if you do have that serial number, make mm -hmm. sure you reach out to me. Yes. And then uh, I'll do some investigation. And hopefully, we can get some warrants typed up for them. <sighs> it would be so good, but I know them. I mean, you know. I know them so well. Well, the thing with pawn shops is you have to show your ID to pawn something, so. I wonder if that's what she's doing with my stuff. Well, I'm sure she probably has no use for Snow Joe, so she's probably trying to pawn it for some well, money. she lives uh, up here on Fitzgerald, so, mm -hmm. and she had a snow blower, but I think she sold it. Mm -hmm. But my Snow Joe is gone. All right. Thanks. All right, if you want to follow me out to my car, I'll get you that business card. All right. I still can't believe you're selling this place. <laughs> Would you like to see the rest of this place? No, nah, I don't want to take this, up your time. Oh, you're not taking up my time. All I was doing is, I, was, I have a hot tub and I was going to put the, what do they call it, the tarp mm -hmm. over it so the snow, because well, I got a gazebo on it. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Yeah, and, uh, but I'm, I'm going to put the tarp underneath of this. So when the snow comes, because that right there, you can just pull it down, mm -hmm. and then I can dump the snow off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See, so that's an easy way to do it, right? <laughs> nope, you just got the locket. And I even have a, um, that ADT thing. I didn't hear it, but I do. But, <sighs> down there, if you think this is nice, you should see down there. Mm -hmm. It is. Really, and if you want to go down, I'll be happy to it's take. It's all right. I don't want to bother your renter. Like I said, you're not bothering me at all. But yeah, it's twice as nice as up here. And fully, I, I ran it out, and um, I actually called the police department. I was going to bring over a sign one time to rent. Uh huh. I, I had somebody rent it to me get over. Hope people don't pray. Thank you. Okay, there's my business card. All you have to do is call the office during daytime when I'm here, mm -hmm. and then they'll transfer you over to me, and then I can swing down here and grab that day for you. All right, thank you. Yes, I'll you. do that. I'll get it for you. Thank you very much. Thank y'all for coming. Hello. Have you guys had what's called a snow joe pawn recently? A snow joe? It is. I would remember something like, like that. Like some kind of, I guess, like blower for snow. Is there a brand name or anything like snow that? Snow joe. Is it one of the electric, like snow broom type things? No, she said it's just like a leaf blower. Oh. Uh, Plug it in. No, no, it's, it's weird know. too. I, yeah. She had to explain everything. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> All right. I would, yeah, I would remember that. Uh, All right. Here Thank seven you. Seven days a week. Thank okay. you. All right, I'm going to go check the other pawn okay. shop. Do you have a face mask? Yeah. Alright, we drive mine. It's so hit or miss that you have to wear one. Huh? How you guys doing today? Not too bad. So, question: yes, sir. Has anybody brought in a snow joe? No. It's a. I would do it. I, I, I should I know the name, but I don't even know what it is. Oh, uh, pretty much, it's a snow blower for snow. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, well, I haven't. Nah, not that I. Okay. 
Alright, I'll figure it out. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You being recorded or something? Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah it's um, something we have local. It's called TV10. Oh, uh, right. So, yep. Cool. Have fun. Thank you.